Hello everyone and welcome to a new video in AutoCAD. In today's video I am gonna show you how to draw this isometric drawing in a first angle orthographic projection. So let's start. I'll pick up the front view to start with. So we have a 180. So we select the layer which is I named it as ref and start drawing a line that has a length of 180 after drawing this line the second line will be the vertical one which is 16 plus uh, 16 plus 48 plus the radius of this circle which is 12 and that is 70, 76 I think Yeah, it's 76. And now we can copy this line from this point up to this point. Again, the same command to cover this line. Okay, now we have to leave a distance, let's say of 30 units. So this is it. And we cover again this line from here up to here. Okay. The same thing can be done with this one. And here we go. And now we have to specify the limits of the top view. As you can see, we have the first line which is 180 and the second one will be 80. So we draw a vertical line that has a length of 80. And now we can copy from here up to here and this one from here up to here okay as you can see from the drawing we have the right side view from here and we don't have the left so we have to draw the right side view so we can move this one from this point up to this point okay and now we have to carry all these three lines distance of 30 and now we specify or we can draw lines and copy these lines here we go now from here we have to specify the, la uh, the, the angle to be 90 and start from here and up to here that's okay and now turn off the angle and lines but turn on the ortho mode and draw these lines you can trim so this is a limit that means we can draw a vertical line from this point up to this point and we can close it and now we can turn on the perpendicular one which is this one L so these are our views the front side view top view and this is the right side view We can add dimensions and linear
okay and now we can start dividing as you can see the first segment we have here is at a distance of 6 from the bottom so start offsetting offset and the distance is 6 units for this line okay the second one is 16 so we select the line and specify a distance of 16 and here we go the third one will be from this line 40 so we draw a line sorry we select offset and now we have 40 for this line and the last one will be the line that contains the center of the circle and it's 84 48 I mean so from this line 48 and here we go so these are all the lines that we need in the front uh, in the front view and we can extend them we can extend them to the right side view we can start drawing any side let's start with the right side view and select the layer which is zero for example and start drawing we will see a rectangle here we will see just a rectangle so we draw a line at the rectangle and here it is and the second thing will be this vertical thing and it has a width of 10 and it's in the mid uh, distance from the edge that means we have to draw a line that has a length of 10 units and this line must be moved from its midpoint up to here and now we draw a vertical line and copy now we're done with this one and the second one will be this one at uh, at a distance of 40 so we just copy this line from here up to here as you can see this line does not extend from the edge to the edge its length is just 60 so we draw a line that has a length of 60 and move it from its midpoint up to here and now we can delete the first one okay now we draw the vertical lines and the final thing for the, for the side view will be these circles and they're at a height of 48 plus 12 that is 76 and the thickness is 8 so start drawing so this is the first one and here 8 and we can copy these three lines from this point up to this point and now we're done with the first with the first one which is the right side view 
as you can see we can return to this layer and now we draw vertical lines representing every single point on this side view okay and we can trim And again, we can draw other lines on the top side view. And now we draw the front side view select the layer which is zero and start drawing the 180 line the second thing is this 60 line at a height of 6 so we draw a line that has a length of 60 and we move it from its midpoint to the mid of this line and we can draw now line trim and this is the bottom of this drawing and the second thing that, that we can see on the front side view is another line here at that, that has a length of 88 so we draw a line that has a length of 88 88 and we move it from this point to this point and now we can draw the vertical lines so as you can see this line is at a height of 40 the second thing that we can see is this circle so the center of the circle is at a height of 80, uh, 48 and it has a radius of 12 so we write C for circle its center is at the midpoint so we write 12 enter and this is the center of the circle and now we can draw the other circle which has a radius of 8 by drawing a line of 8 and 8 and now we can write C for circle and draw it here and we can copy CO for copy this line from this point up to this point as well as this circle from the center to the end of this point and now we can trim select this one and this one as a reference and trim this circle sorry trim select this line and the circle and now select again and we can trim and delete everything that you don't need 
and again you select the command trim and select this circle and this circle enter and trim and trim here we go as you can see we have another circle which has a radius of 5 so we write C for circle and write 5 for the radius the last thing that we can see from the front side view is this thing it's drawn at a distance of 20 from this line so so we draw a line that has a length of 20 so that's it for the front side view and now we can return to this and now we can return to this layer and draw vertical lines representing every single point on the front side view Now we go to layer 0 and start drawing the top view so anyone can see that the limits for top view is 180 from this side and 80 from this side that means the whole area is selected so and now we move to the top view to start drawing our limits so these are our limits for the top view and here we go the second thing that we want to draw is the rectangle so we have a rectangle starting from from this point okay up to this point second rectangle is add an offset of 8 from the side and 8 from the side as you can see we have rep represented we have represented the 8 from the side and not this one because it cannot be seen from the front or the side one so we have to draw a line that has a length of eight units and from it we can draw vertical line now we can copy this line segment from this point to the end point of this line again we can copy this one from here up to here and now we can trim this line and this line okay and now we can draw the wrist here we go so this is our second rectangle and now we have to draw this thing and it's shown as rectangle from the top view at a distance of 20 so as you can see this is its starting point here it is and we're done with these things and now you can see that we have circles and not just one we have two circles the next step is drawing the edge circles before drawing the smaller ones so we have a radius of 15 for each circle of the edge 
so we just draw a line its length is 15 and 15 to the side and now select C for circle and here it is and trim select this one and or before trimming just copy this line from this point up to this point again from this other end up to here and here again we can copy this line from end point again from this point up to this point and up to this point and now we can copy the circle CO for copy circle center and here we go and now we can trim select the edges and start trimming sorry and you can delete these lines again we can select the edges the circles that we have drawn and start trimming the lines or just delete this, these lines let's first delete them and trim select the circles and here we go and now we can draw the smaller ones the first one is a circle that has a radius of 14 of 7 and the second one has a radius of 4 and I don't know what is meant by 90 because I'm not a mechanical engineer so the first circle has a radius of 7 and the second one is 4 so write C for circle and 7 second one is 4 copy these circles from the center up to here up to the center and again So this is our drawing. And as we did in the previous slides, we have to draw lines representing every single point in this plane. So these are our lines. We can take them from any point, but for example, let's take them from here. When it comes to this side again also the center line must be drawn again I can't copy just copy them from this edge up to this edge so these are the lines and we have other lines that we need to draw I mean this one for example and this one and that's it for the side again for this side we have this line again this line and the center line select this line and trim now we can draw vertical lines Starting from here, going up to the base. And 
we can carry them from the center for example up to the center here and trim again this line this line this line and now we draw vertical lines as I told you these lines are here to represent the hidden lines in the drawing I have made one by mistake this one so we draw the correct one which is this one okay You can select all of them as well as these ones. Right click, draw order, and send to back. And we can also change its color because I don't like yellow. We select this one, for example. This one is good. Now we can add another layer and select the line type as hidden. So this is the hidden. Okay. Now we can start drawing the center lines by selecting the center and going from here. We can draw this is a center line. Let's check its scale. It must be five. So this is our center line. We can change it. also copy from this point up to this point as well as this point and this one so we have drawn the center lines here indicating that there are circles here and now we go to the hidden and select the line command and start drawing the hidden lines we have we copy this line from here up to here and up to here up to here so these are the hidden lines we have also another hidden line in the top view in the front side view so this is it and you can indicate its location from here so this line I mean this uh, this one yeah cannot be seen from the front side view so we have drawn it as a hidden line in the front side view okay and now we come to the hidden lines in the top view but before before that we go back to ref layer and draw lines going to the top view Okay, and we have other two lines. So we draw center line from this point up to this point, and we can extend it. And now we can draw the hidden lines here. as well as here now we can copy these three lines from this point turn on to this point before drawing the last 
hidden line I'd like to tell you that these hidden lines are not correct because I didn't understand what is meant by this thing but here you can see it and use these three lines as reference to start drawing the hidden lines so these are just for representing the center line okay so when it comes to the hidden lines of the small circles they're not correct keep that in your mind now I have to draw the last hidden line that is that must be shown in the front side view and it is a circle of a radius of 36 and at a height of 40 so we write C and we are in hidden write C and from here 36 okay and now we can trim select these lines or, or just this line and trim and here we go this is our last hidden line so I guess this is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe like and share and that's it bye